Hey there, it's Rob Knight uh, reporting to you from St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm down here with Hunt's Photo and Video and uh, the Lumix Luminary team for Florida's Birding and Photo Fest. And uh, you can see it's not exactly beautiful weather we've had this week, but we've been out shooting a little bit. I've been trying out the new Lumix GH4 and uh, absolutely loving it. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about this new Enduro tripod that I bought from Hunt's. It's the uh, Gran Turismo GT214. So we had a brief rain delay over at the uh, Castillo de San Marco. So we're here at uh, Surfside Beach Park because we have a gazebo that we can run under in just a second. But um, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the GT214 uh, tripod. It's actually the Gran Turismo tripod. And um, first of all, it comes with this sweet little bag. It's got a nice shoulder strap that you can actually attach to the tripod itself. And, uh, and this side pocket here has a short column if you're going to do low to the ground work if you're going to do macro work that kind of thing uh, and a little tool bag that has all the tools that you need to adjust the tripod and it comes with the spike feet so you can change out the rubber feet that come with the tripod so that's really handy um, this will fit in a carry-on size suitcase it'll definitely fit in, a, in a, any bag that you might check Okay, so I took the tripod out of the bag, obviously, and this is one of these uh, reverse folding tripods. It folds to about 18 inches long, which is great. Um, and I like a compact tripod, but the most important thing to me is, is it's sturdy enough for me to do what I want to do with it. And at this point, with the GH4, the GH3, other Lumix cameras, I'm shooting hybrid photography, so I'm shooting stills and video. And this thing's got to be sturdy enough for me to shoot video. Some of the smaller uh, travel tripods, they're great and they're really lightweight and everything, but they won't hold the camera still enough to shoot any decent video. So that's what really attracted me to the, the GT214. Um, I'm going to open it up here, and it opens just like any of, any of the other transverse tripods just like that and then you drop the center column down so I won't bore you with opening the whole tripod up but uh, I'll show you just exactly how tall it is okay so I've got the GT214 open and uh, this is the size with the center column all the way down so if you were to use the the low center column the short column that comes with it um, this would be the height you'd be working with now it's really easy to adjust to here and I believe the the official height is 64 inches plenty big enough for me. I'm six foot three inches tall, just to give you a reference here. So with the camera on the tripod, this is more than tall enough, and it's actually more than sturdy enough. Uh, the smallest legs on the GT214 are pretty heavy duty. I'd say that's three quarters of an inch around. So that's going to isolate the vibration when you're shooting video more than the little travel tripods that have the tiny little stick leg for the bottom section. So that works great. Um, while I've got the ball head in my face, I'll talk about this. It has a separate control for your panning, um, and the, uh, the tension knob actually has a separate little tensioner inside. So what you can do is adjust this and adjust that tension really easily with your finger so that when you loosen the ball head, you can move the camera around very easily and let it go. So I can adjust that and not have to really lock down the tripod unless I really want to you know, lock it down and hold it there. I can do that. But I, can, I have the tension set so that it'll hold the GH4, in this case, with the 35 to 100 28 lens, no problem. I could shoot it with it just like that and not ever have to tighten the, the ball head. That works great. A um, little screw adjust here. Um, there's a little notch in there, so it won't unscrew past here, which I really like. So you have to really think about unscrewing it and taking it off of the tripod. So the, uh, the base here has one neat feature. That, uh, that I've only seen in Enduro tripods, but I honestly I haven't really looked for it, but it has a little quarter 20 thread here. So if you want to use uh, an auxiliary monitor, you can put your little magic arm, you can just screw it right into the tripod here. If you wanted to use, uh, say, an LED light or a clamp or something like that, you can just take this screw out and attach it right to your tripod. You don't have to worry about having clamps all over your tripod and that kind of thing. So you've got your, uh, your little lug for the strap here and a bubble level on the base of the tripod and on the tripod head. So, all in all, for me, this is just about the perfect tripod. It weighs four pounds. It gets tall enough for me to use. It goes small enough for me to carry. Folds up very quickly and easily, as you can see. Um, as uh, with all the Enduro tripods, the legs are actually water resistant, which makes them sand resistant. So if you're shooting something like this on the beach, um, I'm usually not on a paved surface. So I need my tripod to be able to withstand the elements um, and, and not skip a beat. So this, this does that, even fold it up without reversing the legs. It's very small, very easy to carry. All the legs are padded. It works great. 
uh, like I said, it, for me, this is the perfect tripod. It's the perfect size, the perfect weight. Uh, the official support for this tripod is 36 pounds. This tripod is, will hold 36 pounds. I can actually put, you can put a small camera slider on this. I put a 31 inch slider on it, works just fine, no problem, rock solid, it's great. Um, and I don't know of any other travel tripod that you can say that about. Definitely not with the smaller ones, you're not gonna be able to support anything with that sort of, sort of tension and that kind of leverage on it. So, um, like I said, I got mine from Hunt's Photo and Video. You can get them online and um, check them out at endurogear.com. And if you have any questions, please email me at rob at robnightphotography.com and uh, I'll see you next time.